assalamu alaikum students i am recording this video for the students who joined later today uh, as we discuss a very very important concept regarding electricity flow okay which flow charges usually student don't have a good concept about how electrons flow in a conductor what is the reason of them and how the current generates so while discussing the syllabus related to electricity there was a aspect we discussed today it is regarding the voltage voltage comes from the battery battery is here here is a battery you can see in the circuit battery gives a voltage which is the prime cause of generation of current right what is current current generates after flow of electron the basic definition of current is what it is the number of charges flowing through a conductor in one second or in a unit time so ab thoda sa isko dekhte hain we have a battery here as we know that battery is a storage of charges okay it is basically stores all the charges in it the larger the battery size is the more the charges it is storing so if you insert a battery in a circuit connect that in a circuit what happens this battery gives off electrons in this circuit so jaise jaise electrons yahan se evolve honge it will enter into the circuit and it will give energy to these bulbs okay and they light them up so what's happening here we cannot see any movement right now why because the voltage value is zero here you can see we did not give any voltage right now as we will increase the voltage so what will happen it will push the electrons into the circuit they will move through the circuit to the conductor they will light up the bulb and accordingly gives energy to them as we will increase the voltage with the increase in voltage it will increase the number of electrons the push will increase agar hum isko dekhe it is the analogy of force as we know in mechanics in newtonian mechanics force is the reason to produce the displacement right jab hum force apply karte hain kisi object pe what happens displacement produces in the object okay so the analogous thing over here is what it is voltage what is is just like acting like a force it is giving force like giving force not actually giving force but it is analogous to force so it you can observe we can assume that it is giving a force to electrons it is giving a force to electrons and due to that force electrons are moving in the circuit so hence what will happen when electrons will move in a circuit so the total number of electrons per unit time will generate a current likewise okay now i will increase the voltage and as soon as i increase the voltage gradually you will observe that number of electrons will be increasing in the circuit hence the current will be increasing okay so the energy to the bulb will be increasing just see here we have increased the voltage until 5.5 volts so what is happening the electrons are starting moving slowly slowly through the conductor okay now the voltage is 1 volt ab dekhen speed tez ho rahi hai thodi si gradually it is increasing now at 1.5 volts the speed is comparatively now larger than the previous one it's further increasing after 2 volts then at 2.5 volts you can see the difference not 3 volts now we can see that electron the some what running at 3.5 volts we aren't able to see all the electrons properly at 4 volts then 5 4.4 5 volts then 5 volts it all depends upon the resistance of the bulb also that is what we will study later on but for 5 volts you can 5 volts you can see the movement of electrons and the pace so so increasing it gradually and the speed is increasing increasing kept on increasing okay now you are able to see the electrons the how many electrons are moving so just observe at only 17.5 volts you cannot see how many electrons are moving so just assume that at the greater voltages at 220 volts and 440 volts how many electrons would be going through the conductor and what would be the energy they they are carrying right that's why it is very very harmful for us so such a amount of energy is being going through these electrons so if they will strike through any body like any human so what they will do it is just 
evident over here, okay? No need to mention that. Why? Because human body is also a conductor. So, so as this is the conductor, these wires, these wires are the conductor. So human body is also conductor as we know that. If somebody don't know about it, just note it down. Human body is also a conductor. So at 64 volts, you can just imagine such an amount of electrons would be going through the human body and how would they will be affecting the human body, okay? So that, that is another topic that how much current can cause harm to a human body because it will all depend upon the resistance. As I mentioned earlier in this topic, that resistance decides the allowable value of current, okay, and its effect on any conductor. So that is not a part of a course right now. Okay, that this is just a glimpse to just give you a brief introduction about electricity, flow of electrons, voltages, and resistance in circuit. Because mostly students go both confusion, they cannot imagine the value of current, the concept of current. They cannot differentiate between the voltage and the current. Normally they mix it up. Okay, so just to give you an understanding of this concept, this is not a very difficult concept, though it's a logical one. So you need to be much more smarter, okay? And develop an imagination uh, skill in yourself, okay? So that's all for today. Thank you. Bye-bye.